What's up, insiders? Today, we're going to be going over the Apollo eSigs Brez Pod System. Now, Apollo eSigs makes some of my favorite e-juices. Their e-juices are fantastic. The big question is, how'd they do with the pod? Is this one of the best bang-for-your-buck pods on the market? Make sure you watch the review and find out exactly what I think. Here is the actual battery part of the mod. There is your LED. You got some Brez branding over there. This does have a 320 milliamp hour internal battery. You also get the berry pod in the box with the pod itself. I like the clear color that indicates that it's the berry pod. You take this little rubber gasket off right here, and you can see your juice level inside there. I definitely like that. There are your gold-plated contacts on the bottom with your magnets. Okay, there's your draw hole right there. Now, when I first saw this piece, I was like, cool, man. It's got a top cap, right, to keep the debris out. No, it's a proprietary charger. Man, I was so disappointed when I saw that. I hate these things. It's just one more thing I got to carry around, one more thing I could possibly lose. It is magnetic. You stick it on just like that, okay? Got a nice strong magnet to it. See that? See how nice and strong that clip's on there? But who wants to carry around this piece and possibly lose it? And then what happens if you lose it? You're screwed, right? So I'm not a big fan of that. That's going to be a big con. You also get this coupon inside that gives you 10% off your next pod purchase. I like that. That's kind of cool. Here is the berry pod that comes in the first box that you open up. You can see it just slips in magnetic just like that no way is right or wrong you can take it out and put it in the other way and it goes in just fine wanted to show it next to some other closed end pod systems here is the jewel here is the miley this of course is the brez you can see the brez is just a little bit taller than the other two basically just as slim as the jewel but the jewel is definitely shorter but very, very much in the same form factor as the Jewel, just a tad taller. When you compare it to the Miley, the Miley is definitely a little bit on the wider side, as you can see, right? Miley's definitely a little wider, and the Miley's a little shorter as well. But again, very, very, very similar as far as the form factor goes. Here are how the flavors come packaged. There's your melon, your RY4, your mint, and your tobacco. You lift this piece up just like that, and they're all nice and sealed in this packaging like this. You get a rather useless shorty micro USB cable. I hate these short ones. They're kind of useless. They're hard to use. All right, insiders, let's get into those cons and pros. We're going to do cons first. First con's going to be, man, and I can't believe Apollo dropped the ball like this. That proprietary charger, big, big, huge con. I don't like it. Why didn't you just do a micro USB port, Apollo? Uh, it's just one more thing I could possibly lose. I don't like it at all. I don't like having to carry it around. I mean, if you're going to do a proprietary charger like that, the least you could do is put two of them in the box. Kind of ridiculous, man. It's a big, big con. The pods only have one ml of juice in them. That's a con. And that shorty cable they included, pretty useless. I don't like it. Con. Let's move on to the pros because there's plenty of pros. First pro is going to be price point, $39. You get the mod with five pods. That's an awesome job. Great job on that, Apollo. Big, big pro. It's slim. It's pocketable. It's very jewel-like. You saw it down low when I compared it to the jewel. I like that. We're going to give it a pro. Nice flavor and clouds for a pod. That's a pro. Check it out. Not bad on this little guy, huh? Pro for sure. Very, very smooth, middle-of-the-road type of mouth-to-lung drawer. It's the exact type of drawer I like. That's a pro. I like the fact that the device itself is regulated. It's a constant output device, so you don't feel the vape getting weaker as your battery gets weaker. That's a pro. All right, insiders, I wanted to try the flavors up top because it's kind of hard to do down low. So let's go through the different flavors. Let me run through them for you, tell you exactly what I think about them. This is the original 
berry blend, the one that comes in the box with the mod. Nice flavor, nice nick hit. I'm getting a lot of strawberry, blueberry, you know, maybe even a little bit of raspberry type of flavor. It's definitely berry. You people that like berry types of apes, you'll definitely like it. So far, my favorite out of the five flavors. Let's move on to the melon. Now, I'm not a melon type of vapor, but I can tell you if it tastes accurate or not. Very honeydew-ish, maybe a little bit of cantaloupe at the end. Definitely not my type of flavor, but it definitely tastes like melon, that's for sure. There's no watermelon in this one. This is more of a honeydew, cantaloupe type of flavor. Definitely not my jam, not something I would go out and buy individually, but it does taste accurate. Let's try the Breeze one next. I'm assuming this is their mint type of flavor. Wow, really nice, mellow type of mint. Almost tastes like a, like a Wrigley Spearmint gum. It's not overpowering at all. Almost has a little bit of sweetness to it which I'm really digging because it gives it that gum-like taste. I like this one, man. I would definitely, so far, this is my second favorite one, man. Really, really nice. I'm not a mint vapor, but this one is pretty nice, man. Very refreshing summer type of pod vape. Awesome job on that, Apollo. Next, let's try the RY4. I like RY4 in general, so let's see how it tastes in this pod system. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. This almost reminds me of their Havana Nights Nick Salt. Very vanilla-y. You definitely get the caramel. You're definitely getting the tobacco. Really, really nice vape. Oh, yeah. This, might, this one might bump the berry and the mint one. That's how nice this is. I really, really like this one. Wow. Extraordinary. So far, I think this is number one. Let's try the straight-up tobacco one next. That's a little different, man. It's a little bit of a harsher tobacco. I'm getting that leafy type of taste. Almost like a little bit of like that, I don't know, almost like a slight clove type of taste to it. It's not bad. It tastes more like a, like a pipe tobacco than it does like a cigarette tobacco. So that's where I think I'm getting that clove type of taste from it. Not bad. I could definitely rock this flavor with like a beer or a cup of coffee. That's what it would probably go well with. This one or the RY4. It's nice. If I had to rank them in order, I'd probably say the RY4 is my favorite. The berry blend would be my second favorite. This tobacco one would be number three. The spearmint would be number four or the mint one. And then the melon would be last because I'm just not a melon vapor. But all of them, very, very solid, very, very accurate. Big shout out to Apollo eSigs for handing this to me at the vape event in Brooklyn. Make sure you check out the link down below. Let's go over some of the specs on this pod system. It is a closed-end pod system, which means once you empty a pod, you can't refill it. Five flavors come in the kit. It does have a 320 milliamp hour battery. Flavors come in 25 or 50 milligrams. It measures in at 104 by 16 by 8 millimeters, and it does have an LED battery indicator. Don't forget, insiders, check the link down below. Go over and join our new Facebook group, and you'll get a chance to win a $100 coupon at Vape Wild. Check out the link. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you today. You keep living that vape life, we're out of here. Deuces. Today, we're going to go over the top 10 pod systems. Now, last year was the year of the pod, without a doubt. And I know I tested.